If you are planning to apply for a USA B1, that's a business visa, to attend an event, conference or a client meeting in the US, then this video is for you. We are going to discuss some important factors which visa officers focus on and this will help you prepare your profile according to that. I also have a businessman with me and he is going to share his experience of getting his visa approved in the second attempt, so keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. In fact, we have an entire playlist for B1 visa, so make sure to check it out. And if you look below in the description box, you will also see that there are free resources which are going to help you in your preparation. This includes a question bank, a document checklist and sample format for invite letters. So once you're done watching this video, make sure to make use of all of those resources. So a B1 visa is a great visa. It allows you to visit US for events, conferences, meetings and many other things. And in my experience of working with clients, I have seen that visa officers primarily focus on three aspects. Number one, have you attended similar events before? Let's say that you want to go to the US to attend a trade event. Now the visa officer is going to look into your profile and check whether you have attended any similar events before. Why do they do this? Because this helps them to establish the credibility of your profile. If the visa officer sees that you have track record in this particular domain and your work experience is relevant to the purpose of your visit, then this builds confidence in your profile and makes it clear to the visa officer that you are the right person for this particular purpose. So make sure that you are highlighting similar events, similar purposes that you would have done before. Now this could be outside India, but if you haven't had a chance to travel out of the country yet, you could highlight whatever you have done within India as well. Even that counts. The question arises, where exactly do you highlight it? Well, there are two places where you could do it. First one is your DS-160 form. So when you fill your DS-160 form, you will be describing your duties. Now in that particular box, include one point about similar events. So if you're going for a trade event, include a point about attending similar events within India, outside India, wherever you would have done it. The second place where you could highlight is in the interview itself. So in the interview, make sure that you are bringing in this point somewhere. It could be in the purpose of visit or it could be when you talk about your job roles and responsibilities. Let's say that the visa officer asks you, what is the purpose of your visit? So when you tell the officer that you have been invited for a trade event, you could add in a line and tell him that I have attended similar events earlier as well. Or when the visa officer asks you about your job roles and responsibilities, you talk about your main role and add a point that your role also involves traveling, it also involves attending events and conferences. The second aspect that visa officers focus on is your position in the company. Why you? Why not anybody else? In fact, this is a very common B1 visa interview question that why you are going for this and why not your manager or why not anybody else? Now, to answer this, you have to do analysis of your experience and your expertise in the company. So you have to make it clear to the visa officer that you have the right experience and expertise for this particular event. For example, maybe this event is linked to a product and you have been involved in the development of that product right from the beginning. Or this event is about a particular service and you lead that service domain in your company. So essentially, you need to show to the visa officer that the main area or the main theme of the event is very tightly linked to what you have been doing in this company and you have the right experience and the expertise for it. And third aspect, the importance of the event. I feel that this is the most important and yet the often overlooked aspect of a B1 visa interview. Keep in mind that when you go for the interview, the visa officer is judging how important is this purpose to your business or to your company. If the purpose looks passive, something which is not very important or something which does not impact the business directly, then it's going to lose the importance. However, if the purpose is something which is direct, which has a direct impact on the business, let's say that it's going to help you in gaining new customers, increasing the revenue or entering new markets, then the importance of that purpose automatically goes up. So when you're framing your purpose and when you're deciding why you want to enter the US, do keep in mind that the purpose is something which has to be direct, it should have an immediate impact on the business and it is something which the company needs to grow further. So if you're still here, still watching the video, do give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know. So comment B1 below so that I know that you have got the three factors 
and if you have any doubts as to how to use it in the interview or in the DS-160 form, do comment below and let me know. The next part of the video is really exciting and I have with me a young businessman from Gujarat who initially had his B1 visa refused even though he had a good travel history and a good track record. So Nisarg is here with us and he is going to share what went wrong in the first attempt and how he fixed things and got his visa approved in his second attempt. Spoiler alert, his interview, the second one that is, was so long that there was a big line of people waiting behind him by the time he finished. In fact, his interview was 15 minutes long. So let's listen to what Nisarg has to say. So I am into pharmaceutical background. I have a pharmaceutical company and uh, before applying for this visa, I had traveled to a few of the Latin American countries uh, like Mexico, uh, Venezuela, uh, also traveled to Europe, uh, Barcelona, Portugal. So I was like, uh, I was, uh, I was like, I wanted a US visa because there are many events in the US which are related to the pharmaceutical field. And as as you already know that if you have the US visa, that's a value addition to your passport. You, I can travel to a few of the Latin countries and few of the uh, other smaller countries without a visa. So I wanted that. So I met, I, I, I saw the video of Sachi on YouTube and I felt that it was, uh, she was, she was giving the very right advice, which uh, nobody had given before. And I saw the link and I approached the company, your company, and hence I got in touch with you. Uh, this was my third attempt for the US visa. Uh, prior to that, I was I had a rejection for the uh, US visa for twice. twice. I, I made attempts twice, but it was rejected. So how many years you've been in this business, in the pharma domain? How long? Uh, I'm in this business since five years. And prior to that, I also had a job and also ended my family business. So as such, uh, in the pharmaceutical business, I have done my job in uh, different companies. So I already had experience, but this firm I'm handling since five years. Yeah. So you've been in this pharma business for about five years. Yeah. I have this firm since five, five years, but I'm in this business like... I'm in this pharma field since long because I did my B farm and then I worked in a pharmaceutical company and also ended my family business. And then I started my company, that is this, uh, my company. And I'm uh, exporting to various Latin American countries, uh, African countries, CIS countries, mainly our countries. Okay. So you mentioned you had two refusals, right? Yes. Are yes. they both for B1 itself, business visa? The, two no, the first refusal, I think that was in 2018, uh, I think December of 2018. And that was for the visitor visa. I I was standing, I was I was there with my family. Uh, my wife was also there. And uh, I said that I want to go for the Christmas. And uh, they asked a few of the questions. And then they asked me, where have you traveled? I said, I traveled to Bali, Indonesia and Dubai and all that. And uh, it was going decent. And then the, then the lady, say, the, the officer says that, um, sorry, I cannot give you the visa, something like that. And hmm. that was the first experience. Right. And after that, I waited for a few years that, uh, let's wait for a few years, like two, three years, and then apply for the second attempt. And I applied for the second attempt after traveling to Latin American countries like Mexico, hmm. uh, Venezuela, Barcelona, many of the countries that traveled. And then so I you actually the built up your travel history, improved yeah. your property. You yeah, I, income, everything. <laughs> exactly. Everything I, I proved and I applied for the second time and I thought that uh, it's logical that they would give me the visa because I have traveled and uh, I have traveled to Mexico and different countries. So I thought that was my perception that they would give me. And in the second attempt, I just went, I didn't did any preparation for the second attempt, like purpose or anything, because I didn't know, knew that, uh, that I need to prepare for the purpose because I was, I was not aware. So the uh, second attempt, she uh, the, there was officer, the lady officer, and she asked me that, uh, why you want to go to US? And I said that I want to go for CPHI. And she was like blank. Why? What is CPHI? Because I didn't know that I need to frame it properly. And then again, she said that, are you married? Do you have kids and all that? And then she again came to the, why you, what do you will do in the event? I said, I want to, I'm in a purchase and I want to meet the manufacturers. And, and then she was not satisfied with the answer and she said that um, uh, I, I, your visa is not approved. So I was like, uh, come on, that was like, I I, travel, I had traveled, I had a reasonable, uh, the logic was that I'm re I was really going for my company, I was doing for, I was going for business, yet I didn't got a visa. And, uh, and after that, 
someone told me that uh, you need to wait for a year but i was not convinced because i thought that uh, because i am into business and my reason is not going not going to change because i am already doing my business and in the third attempt itself i am going to say that i am going for a business what's the point of waiting but uh, still i was can be uh, confused because i didn't had uh, any right person to guide me because uh, uh then I, i i was searching and i saw your uh, youtube channel and uh, I, i i think you you nailed it and it was like very appropriate advice so i thought that it's better to give give it a chance and i then approached you and it went well uh through your session, sessions basically it was very like you you framed all the answers or uh, you framed all the questions that were supposed to be asked in the interview and uh, that is what actually happened when i went for the interview uh, for the third attempt i was prepared because i knew that it's going to be tough that is the, at least that is what i thought because uh, uh, because uh, of course they're going to be surprised because uh, just second attempt was just i think one and a half month or 45 days before the third attempt so uh, they're going to ask me a lot of questions so that, that i went and there was a officer me uh, 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 uh officer and he was and he started with that why you want why you want to go to the us and uh, as my I, i was ready with a proper answer and then i said to him that uh, I, i am going to attend one of the one of the biggest event in the pharmaceutical industry uh, called cphi and it's a very well known event and it's a it's very important for my company as we are into exports and uh, it's a basically a buyer seller meet and i can meet all the manufacturers good manufacturers and all the buyers at a single place and that saves a lot of time and he was convinced with that but uh, however due to i think due to my history uh, he asked me a lot of questions like uh, it went around for uh, more than 15 minutes at least and the there was a long queue back through and they were like uh, apna kya hoga iska itna lamba chal raha hai chal kya raha hai chal kya raha hai 15 minutes is massive that's like huge that's nice yeah, i'm a, yeah he asked me a lot of questions because uh, uh, of course all the answers were uh, were all uh, as per the uh, questions they were appropriately answered because i was prepared and i answer i had all the supporting documents to justify my answers so he was convinced but still he wanted to make sure that i, I think so he wanted to make sure that uh, i am the right uh, eligible person to be issued the visa so uh, after this question he asked me that uh, he asked me what is my father doing uh, i think my father also uh, went for interview in 20 uh, 2020 or 2021 i don't remember the exact year so uh, at that time he might have asked him that what is his business so he asked me what is your father doing i said he is a real estate developer and then he asked me what is the product that he is constructing so i said bungalow then he asked me how many floors are there i said ground floor first floor and second floor that was the question and then he again asked me what exactly uh, are you building and uh, what's the name of your project so uh, i think he might be having uh, data what my father had answered and he wanted to cross, uh, cross check tally so i answered all those questions and then then he came to my business he said that uh, why you went to venezuela now venezuela is a sanctioned country but uh, we have a uh, we are exporting our pharmaceutical products to venezuela so i i have stayed there for around one month uh, in 2020 uh, 2023 uh, i have been there so uh, they said that why you stayed there i said i have clients over there and i had a i had the airway bills air shipment bills so it was all properly documented but even though he didn't see see that but he asked me all the questions like uh, what are you doing in venezuela then he asked me what are your pharmaceutical products i said that we are into tablet capsule injectables and uh, many other different products then out of a blue i was asked that uh, name four diabetic drugs so <laughs> of course so uh, technical questions also asked to you basically yeah all the technical questions uh, so this kind of technical questions could only be answered by someone who is really doing work if okay. somebody is bluffing it's difficult to bluff this way so i said citagliptin bedagliptin all this products we are working in diabetic range so uh, he was then convinced and after that question he was like uh, he was genuinely convinced that yeah i feel that he felt that yeah this guy, this this guy has a reasonable uh, reason to a valid reason to go to us and he's is not at all bluffing and then um, 
and then he asked me then he asked me what are you going to do in us then he came to what's your purpose and all that what's your plan and i said i was very clear i didn't wanted to uh, lie anywhere so i was very clear i said that uh, i'm going to attend a cpsi event and post that uh, post that i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, meet few of my buyers and uh, if there is a time my sister might come to visit me or i might go and visit her for a day or two or something like that so and then after that uh, he was convinced and he said that uh, your visa is approved finally he said that and uh, all the all the questions uh, and answers almost in 15 minutes so he went uh, deep in question uh, uh, like yeah, ma'am uh, whatever i answered usme se bhi question nikal rahe the the and he went deep into that a lot deeper in that and also i was asked that why i went to barcelona in india what i am doing so thoroughly he checked everything but finally he was convinced because uh, i i had answers good answers to whatever questions that he was shooting and it was all genuine but the point my my conclusion is that uh, the thing is that many people many people say that uh, us visa ke liye bas aise hi chale jao kuch preparation ki zarurat nahi hai to i don't know that works for few of the people but I think if you have rejection once and then then it is sure that they are going to ask a lot of questions and even though you are genuine and you you want you you want a visa for your business purpose but you need to justify that you going to come back that is what they want it's not that what you think matters but it is like how, how you present yourself this is what i learned so and it went it was also possible through your guidance because you pointed the finger in the right direction Uh, how to how to work? Of course, I work for a week or something through your guidance, uh, but it was the efforts in the right direction that is what helped me. Yeah. So very very interesting interview experience, I must say. So one common question which people ask is that should I change the consulate after the rejection, right? Yeah. So did you go to the same location or somewhere else, and were you conscious of the location, or you were okay that okay I'll go wherever now? uh see exactly uh when uh just i went to delhi and prior to, uh, for the first and second attempt i went to mumbai and jo mera delhi ka attempt maine ye third time kiya uske pehle my business partner he went to delhi and he got the visa he usko to kuch kuch pucha hi nahi hai that was like why you want to go to us and he said that i want to attend pharmacy you want seedha visa de diya kuch nahi so um uh, uh delhi was uh, i wa- i had a i had a thought that let's go to delhi abhi De- bombay mein aisa hai ki har koi bombay ja raha hai matlab yahan pe gujarat se to har koi bombay hi ja raha hai so i wanted to chalo delhi jate hain as such i traveled to delhi due to my uh, various business work so i went to delhi and uh, delhi mein aisa hai ki of course there were people from all over india from there even from gujaratis patels and all of them but comparatively bombay ke comparison wahan pe thoda crowd kam hai bombay mein bahut log jate hain aur i think going to bombay is like many people have the option of gujarati translation over there delhi mein option nahi hai shayad so i think that could be the reason that kam thode kam log jate hain and and wahan pe bhi kafi crowd to tha hi and even you won't believe that kafi bheed thi and uh, same crowd hai wahan pe bhi bahar phone rakhne ki jagah nahi hai then the, the guy has to sell the ice cream they give the phone and all that mm-hmm. and that is fine but once i went inside and i waited long in a long queue and then i came for the uh, the mera mera tata na aayega tata na aaya for the window and i shared how it went after that i got the visa i came outside and i saw few of the people literally crying because they didn't they didn't got the visa and they were crying so uh, whatever you uh, i don't know but it is like people uh, pe- people have a lot of uh, people people are people try a lot of lot of attempts or lot of efforts put lot of efforts to get this visa so i saw people crying maine aisa dekha hai matlab family nikal raha tha matlab few people were crying because they didn't got a visa yeah so such it's, a i mean it's sad for few people like you're separated from your family or you know uh, for a student like you have your dream admit and you're not yeah. able to because of a visa issue so it can like literally change the course of you know the next steps yes. Yes, of your yes, plan yes, of your yes. career Yeah. So, yeah. So I think that's why this interview is so critical. Yes, yes. It is critical. मतलब ये लोगों का ऐसा है कि मतलब it is like if you even though you are right, you are not able to present yourself. You uh, you you don't get a visa. That's the that's the part that I think it is uh, which is of concern to me. क्योंकि ऐसा नहीं है कि आपका intention right होना चाहिए. Intention आपका right है पर आपको preparation या फिर आपका presentation ठीक नहीं है तो आपको visa नहीं मिलेगा. Most of the there's a chance. 
of course there are people who might have got a visa just like, like yeah. and just like, like that but, <laughs> <laughs> but but if you are not if you are not one of them then you need to prepare you right. need to definitely prepare i would say that and in the 15 minutes of interview were you asked any document no i was not asked any document okay. any document that was surprising i, I mean that is like case with many of the people but i wasn't asked anything anything so essentially he asked questions and verified rather than seeing your documents so yes 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 he in your business documents he asked you business questions instead of seeing your travel documents he asked you travel questions exactly matlab aap samjho ki aisa hai ki abhi kisi ko bhi koi agar bol raha hai ki main pharma field se hu aur usko char diabetic drug ke naam puchhenge to most of the people won't be knowing that they won't know that because unless you are into really that field you won't know that so that was also out of the view and aisa hai ki wo question ke liye answer ke liye that was very spontaneous and uh, they don't expect to uh, you to wait for aapko uh, time nahi dete de, de, matlab they know that ki jisko pata hai wo in, spontaneously bolega aur preparation nahi hai so that is how it goes you cannot bluff but mere case mein aisa tha ki everything was genuine maine mai i am into business mai khud kar raha hu business mera itna export hai i travel a lot in india outside india i have stalls over there but i was not able to uh, unfortunately first or the second attempt i i was not able to present myself well or the third attempt i prepared well and it went well of course i would say that some of some sometimes it is also like uh, somewhere or other there is a luck factor also that like uh, at least i got a chance he, he he gave me a chance and he asked me this questions That's suppose true. he wouldn't have asked me this questions and i wouldn't have the chance to answer true. so yeah. that is also there that is also there and one thing uh, which i think we worked a lot in your case was your ds164 form because i remember yeah. multiple iterations we were doing yes, yes. that we just yeah. get it right maine kaafi changes karwaye the even rat yeah. even your uh, in your team radhika was just like ab to final kar do <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah i remember <laughs> yeah. uh but we do in general also spend a lot of time you know in the ds164 form because mm-hmm. like that, that's the first impression right before he's speaking to you he's looking at the form yeah what is your opinion about that that because you also were very particular right that okay i want these yeah. keywords i want this so how did you plan that that okay yeah nice. yeah so, matlab main main itna to convince tha ki uh, once i had a talk with you uh, i was convinced that ki yaar uh, mereko aapke sath hi ye session of preparation karni hai because uh, prior to that at least i have i have some friends who have applied visa and they the people or through some consultant or somewhere someone but they were not up to the mark they were not or else they were not genuinely putting efforts for the uh, person who was applying for the visa and in your in your case i felt that you were analyzing it in depth you uh, whatever you committed like 45 minutes or one hour you you dedicatedly provided the time and uh, you went into deep analysis you answered all the questions even though you were not you, you had a system like you uh, one cannot call you directly but you answered all the queries on the email properly so i was convinced that uh, मेरे को प्रिपरेशन आपके साथ करनी है एंड एंड योर नॉलेज इन एनालिसिस एंड एवरीथिंग वाज वेरी मच प्रॉपर सो आई वाज कन्विंस्ड एंड फ्रॉम माय साइड आई 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 आल्सो डोंट वांटेड टू टेक अ चांस बिकॉज इट वाज अ थर्ड अटेम्प्ट एंड आई थॉट दैट इफ आई डोंट गेट गेट दैट वीजा इन थर्ड अटेम्प्ट देन आई थिंक फिर तो मेरे को ऐसा लग रहा है कि 20 साल बाद ही शायद मिलेगा ऐसा में सो आई आई ऑफ कोर्स देयर आर पीपल हु स्टे who appear for 10 times 20 times but it is like mania so i i was like yeah. third time up third time hai to mereko isme koi chance nahi uh, uh, i don't want to leave any chance and i want to answer all the questions properly about my business uh, which i am already doing but i want to present myself well that is what my intention was and uh, through mm-hmm. your uh, mock up especially the mock sessions uh, and the way you asked the questions the way you were shooting the questions that helped me to develop the develop the uh, thinking on the spot basically. thinking on the spot and answering yeah. the questions properly and uh, that is what actually helped me and believe me uh, the questions that uh, we prepared or i uh, prepared before the interview those were the questions most of the questions were similar they for of course the sentence formation was different but it was almost similar because their intention was like why you want to go and what you will do and what are you doing this it revolves around this questions for at least for this visa that's what i felt yeah so the idea of the multiple mocks is that it's not just about keep on repeating the same question it is just to also you know yes. train you to how to answer it if it's asked in a slightly different way 
Yes. Also to answer questions you're not prepared for. What do you do then on the spot? Yes. Yes. So I think that seven day has those four different mocks where each mock we kind of, you know, tune it so that you're prepared for one aspect of the interview. Yes, so, yes, yes. Like I remember you being also very, very dedicated <laughs> with every yeah, mock. Said, that also matters a lot, right? It has to be like... Yeah, of course, both, of course. Both of sides course. are... Effort is needed, but but the point is that uh, uh, it is like just mm -hmm. karni usko right direction mein, uh, if you help if you point the finger in the right direction one can go there yeah. so that is what helps to your sessions like uh, of course efforts to dalni hai, but you help me to frame the frame my present myself properly before that uh, I met one of the uh, one of the uh, person who was uh, he was into this uh, uh, into this kind of work. He was into student visa and all that. So he said that SA Jao, Kuch Karnani is Ada Sochoge to Kuch Karni Pauke. That was his attitude. And it didn't work. He said that Kuch kisses a bati matkaro kya hai, it was SA Bolo. That is what he said. Ab, ab ho bhi work karta hai, no ke liye, but it didn't work for me at least. Yeah. So third attempt, I was pretty sure that he may go properly hi karna hai. Hmm. And documents leke jana hai, even though no. I did no, nothing was asked. Yeah. I mean, end of the day, I feel it's a game of confidence, right? So yeah. better prepared you are, the more like you have all the documentation, you have your thought process clear. It just comes out. Yeah. yeah. You handle the interview and that kind of builds on from there subsequently. So I tell you, I tell you, yeah. uh, because preparation is somewhat necessary, uh, at least for someone who has a rejection once, I would say personally, I think because, because yeah, I tell you, I've seen often that even the most uh, academically good people or uh, people who have traveled a lot, they are nervous. They are nervous in this line. You can see the body language. People are nervous. And if you are nervous, you might you might not be able to present yourself. Well. This might happen. I mean, it differs from person to person. But I have seen a lot of people nervous over there. And if you're not, if you don't know what to answer properly and how to present yourself, it might not be a, a proper way I think so yeah true thank you so much Nisar this is a lot lot of useful information and I really hope that it gives that motivation and that you know the direction to people because right now many many people are looking for a business visa yeah right so and they are also emphasizing more on B1 yeah. B visas so yeah. I really hope that this reaches <laughs> a lot of people and helps yeah. them they gave me a 10 year visa and like B1, B2 visa, 10 year visa. I, I said, just I just applied for B, B1 visa. But, right, right. Uh, I got B1, B2 for 10. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at chachi.mal. And just like Nisar, if you want to prepare with me, do check all the links in the description box below. We can help you with your DS-160 form, your interview preparation and the mocks. So feel free to reach out. And we have more useful content coming up in the B1 Visa series. We are also uploading a lot of short videos and reels on Instagram. So do keep an eye on them as well. Signing off for now. I'll see you very soon.